to turn that thing down. I mean, turn it down now. Look, Reg, it's me. Give me that. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Doc Rick. Uh, what's the matter? I'm sorry, Mama. Oh. I didn't mean it, Doc Rick. But I, I was just trying to turn the volume down, but I couldn't find the volume switch. Reg, uh, I'm sorry, Doc Rick. Overreacting there, wouldn't you say? Yes, Leslie, you're right. I shouldn't have yelled at all. I'm sorry. Okay. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Why are you doing that? Where is Blackie? He left early this morning. Yeah, he had something important to do, and then he starts work for Luke today. Oh. Well, what are you going to do today, champ? I'm going to start my new day camp today. Are you sure I'm going to like it? I think you're going to be crazy about it, but you better get your little toes outside because the bus is due any second. Tell you what, uh, tonight we'll barbecue in the backyard. Yeah. And I'll uh, set things up so you how to do it. All right. Okay. See you later. Okay, guy. I'm sorry. Bye, Dr. Bye. Goodbye, Angel Baby. You have fun today. Thanks, Mom. Bye. Bye. Bye, guy. Honey? Look, you don't want to be late. You're going to get going, too. Um, you're not ready. Uh, I don't have to be there for another hour. But we have to go together. I gave Blackie my car. Why? Ah, uh, he needed it. W what about us? We need a car. It's Two. no biggie, sweetheart. We finished at the same time today. Leslie, that is not the point. We seem to always be changing our schedule to meet Blackie's schedule. Now, we happen to be the one with the responsibilities, right? He has responsibilities, too. Oh, I'm sure just as many as we have, right? We are also paying the bills. And he's working to earn part of his college tuition. I think you're spoiling him. I think he deserves a little spoiling. I think he did wonderfully in school. He's very conscientious. It's the start of his summer vacation. He went out and got himself a job. He's supposed to. It's summer, right? A whole lot of kids wouldn't, and especially not without being asked, and you know it. He's a good kid. He deserves encouragement. By inconveniencing us, right? I don't feel inconvenienced. <sighs> I am not ready to leave yet. I haven't finished my breakfast. Fine. I'll wait. So I don't have much of a choice then, do I? I wish you would tell me what's bothering me. Nothing is bothering me. Oh, sure. You're always like this. It's really like you to snap at the kids all the time. I am just a little out of sorts, okay? Why do you keep rubbing your chest? I, I've got indigestion, most probably, from all of this. Have you taken anything for it? No, I haven't. It'll go away all by itself. I'm going to take a shower. I set up three No, this happens to be a deluge. Fathom needs an angiogram. I don't have time today. I can't do it. Well, you told me yesterday that you wanted to do it today. All right. I'm not done yet. Uh, Dan's called a meeting for the entire OR staff after lunch. I can't make it. Well, I think he's pretty adamant about everybody being there. This is insane, Amy. Amy, did you tell Rick the university called? Oh, I forgot, Rick. The chancellor called and he wants to discuss your fall lecture schedule with you. But Look, I am not a machine, Amy. How come you have scheduled me with wall-to-wall -wall appointments all day? This works out that way. Well, next time you work out my schedule, you try to add some human consideration for the doctor, please. Maybe you ought to take a break. Oh, when? On the 20 minutes you allowed me for lunch? I'm surprised you didn't set up a triple bypass and I could eat and bypass at the same time. I'm sorry. And right. would you excuse us for a minute? My pleasure. You know, if you stop biting off quite so many hands, your ingestion might go away. Listen, that's not it. I didn't think it was. So do you want to tell me what's really bothering you? Did you hear the schedule? Yeah, I did. It sounds like your everyday run-of-the-mill, slightly too heavy schedule. Why do you always side with kids? Her case for months. To schedule you more fully. She's taking her cue from you. Not like this. Oh, yes, like this. You don't know when to stop. You're a workaholic. I've been telling you that for years. So what's really wrong, Doctor? Nothing is wrong. It's just the day is going on and on. It seems like hours and it's only morning yet. Rick. I don't have time for this, Leslie. I'm Rick. sorry. Rick.
Come in. Are you interrupting? No, not at all, Steve. Please, come in. There's something wrong. I just got some rather bad news. Did you know Bob Davidson over at Mercy? The internist? Yeah. Yes, we, we play tennis now and then until his uh, practice got too busy. He's a nice guy. Yes, he was. Was? Dr. Thompson over at Mercy just called me. He said Davidson collapsed last night. He was dead an hour later. He was making his rounds when it happened. Was it his heart? Yes. He uh, was my age. A little younger, I think. Pretty frightening, isn't it? Yes, 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 yes. His kids weren't even out of high school yet. Audrey knows his wife, Barbara. We were just on our way to pay her condolence visit. Please give her my best. I'll let you know when the service is planned if you'd like to attend. Of course I will. Thank you. I hate to be the bearer of bad tidings, but well, it's just such a shock when something like this happens so darn fast. Yes, yes it is. Monica, it's Rick. I, I need to see you right away, please. <laughs> 